Welcome back to another episode of the Cornerfield Shop. Today I'm building a charging station and I thought I would share my process with you. It's not going to win any awards on design or use any fancy materials. It's a practical piece of shop furniture and to me that means using scraps and focusing on the usage, not the looks. That is not to say that it can't be made pretty. Anyway, let's get started on this build. The main concept is to make small open cabinets that I can use to hang my battery powered tools from. On top I will store the charger and the batteries that go with the tools. I'm making the cabinets by fastening short pieces of plywood to the piece that will become the top. Important here is that you space these apart just right so that your tools fit between those two pieces. Once these pieces are fastened using glue and screws, I'm cutting the pieces that will hold the tools inside these small boxes that I just made. For this I'm using some scrap of exterior plywood. Here I'm doing a quick test with two pieces to make sure that the concept works. The strips that I'm going to attach to my drill holder, I wanted to round over the edges, but I should have done that when it was still a larger piece. Now that they're smaller pieces, um, it's much safer to bring the piece to the machine instead of the other way around. So what I did is I fastened a board of MDF to the router um, and now I can safely clamp this down somewhere and I can move the pieces uh, over the router bit one by one um, and I don't have to deal with the instability of the machine uh, due to the small pieces. So that's up next. Now that the pieces have a round over, the tools will slide in more easily. The only thing left to do for the tool holders is to fasten the pieces to the cabinet. For the charger I wanted to set it upright so I can see the progress of the charging battery. To do this I made holes in a strip of plywood off camera that correspond with the feet of the charger. This will help to keep the charger upright. With these holes made I cut the piece to length and fasten it to the back of the cabinet. Now 
The other pieces around the charger are just there to ensure that it stays in place. For the piece that covers the front, I added some foam to apply more pressure to the curved shape without having to cut the curve on the bandsaw. With the charger in place, I added two strips to hang the whole assembly from on my tool wall. Later I added a magnetic strip to the front, which I'm planning to use for storing my bits when the tools are in their holders. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you back for another episode at the Cornerfield Shop.